in a place where many come to get away. I haven't been here for 20 years. This journey has been far from a vacation. This was an unplanned trip. David Day has horses. I do. And on short notice, he brought him. This is Mariah. To help look for a missing Boy Scout. Well, we don't know him personally. We know a lot of people in the neighborhood that he's from. 13-year-old Garrett Hunter, who has a form of autism, had been on a 50-mile hike with his scout troop when he vanished on Saturday. So we haven't really got confirmation how they lost sight of him. Um, it was a big group, and as they traveled out, they just noticed he wasn't with them anymore. Searchers have been looking by air and by ground. Despite some potential sightings, it's north of Seneca Lake, which is quite a ways from where they last saw him, they've yet to find him in two days of looking. It's pretty thick country. There's a lot of trails, a lot of lakes, a lot of area to cover. Joining close to 20 highly trained rescuers, tight enough for you there, Michael, are more than three dozen people who simply want to help. I know a lot of the people involved, and I've got a lot of experience up here, and so they've asked me to help them. They traveled here without hesitation. Yeah, we had to make a couple of phone calls and we come, on, come up here for this. An unplanned trip to the Wyoming wilderness to help someone desperately in need. So obviously if we find him, uh, end of story, we've got it put together. Oh, that's a great thing.